Here's how to sell digital products on System.io. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description. And if you click that, you can actually try System.io for free, which is always a good thing. Let's begin. So something I do want to let you know is that I'm going to go through this tutorial overall pretty quickly. And what I mean by that is I'm not going to focus on a lot of the aesthetics and things that you might want to put in your sales letters and your, in your checkout pages and so on and so forth. It's more so how to connect the specific pages because once you have them together, you can go on back and obviously edit Edit them to your liking. With that in mind, there is something that you want to do first. So if you hover over your picture at the top right, simply go to settings. All right, and once you click on settings, what you want to do is go over to payment gateways right here. And this is something you want to do first because these need to be integrated for you to sell anything. In fact, what I would do in case these aren't, I would connect the ones you want to use, which is probably going to be Stripe and or PayPal, sign out and then sign back in. You just want to make sure that system.io knows that they are connected, obviously, because that's how you're going to sell your thing. So do that. And if you need any help, if you click on the question mark right here, it's going to break up an article where it shows you how to go through and connect those. So that's going to be the first step. Once that is done, we're going to go ahead and create a funnel. So let's click on funnels at the top right here. And what we want to do is create a new funnel. So let's do create right here. All right. So I'm just going to call this a digital product. Obviously, whatever you're going to be selling, you could probably give it the name of whatever that digital product is going to be. We can click on sell right here for selling a product or service and simply clicking on save. All right. Now that it has been created, let's click on digital product right here. And there we are. So for this, it's going to give you two specific pages. Now you can use a sales letter if you want, and I'm going to show you how to create that and connect it. But like I said, I want to just kind of give you the quick bare bones overview to how to connect everything. So you know how to get up and running. First and foremost, we have our order form. Now there are going to be plenty that you can choose from. So it's really up to you if you want to go with something a little bit simpler, a little bit more basic, a little bit more advanced, right? So I'm just going to kind of scroll through and pick one that I like. All right, and I like this one, pretty basic, but you know what, I think that's gonna be completely fine. I'm gonna X out of that, and I'm gonna choose this one right here and click on select. So there are a few important things that you wanna do here. In case we wanted to like change this, we can always change the name to say like order form, okay? Make it look a little bit better. And then from there, what we wanna do is go down here for choose offer type. We want digital product. If we scroll down, this is what I was talking about before. For example, say you were logged in and you just added your, say, Stripe or PayPal account. Sometimes it's going to show that you don't have it. That has happened to me in the past. So if it is showcasing that you don't have any integrations yet, just simply log out, log in, and you should be good. So for this, let's go to price plans. And what we want to do is create a new one right here. So let's do create a new one. So the price plan, this is going to be, say, like one-time payment. And I'm just going to copy that and put it right here in our dashboard. So for the statement descriptor, as it says right here, when a customer makes a purchase from you, a short description about the purchase will show up on the bank statement. So ideally you wanna make it the same name as the product or maybe your brand, just so that they know what you're talking about. Let's just do like viral social. Say we're selling a viral social digital product, right? So price plan type, we can go right here. We're gonna do one time payment and payment amount. Let's just say it's gonna be $19. Let's click on save. Perfect, and so now we have that, and that is gonna be good. We can just view it very quickly. Great, and you'll notice that I have uh, Stripe integrated. There's not gonna be any PayPal there, so that's gonna be good there. Let's go back and just edit it very quickly. Edit page. All right, so we have email address, uh, first name, last name, and phone number. Maybe you don't want phone number. You can always just delete that, okay? So we can go like that. And a lot of this is gonna be business as usual. Say we have this right here. It's gonna be like viral social special off you know whatever that's going to be we can do this special 50 percent off maybe it was uh 38 i believe that's double 19 right anything is just going to be you know changing it around click on it adding it editing it and so on and so forth and we can do like you know purchase okay Okay, and so that looks pretty good. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about a lot of the aesthetics. It's pretty simple to like delete stuff, edit things around. I'm going to save this, okay? And what I want to do is simply go back. All right, so there are going to be two things that we want to do here when it comes to automation rules. First and foremost is we want to make sure that we know when someone purchases, they are going to be a customer because it's it's good to separate subscribers from customers. Obviously, it's going to be a very big difference when you have freebie seekers compared to people who are actually purchasing from you. And of course, what we want to do is create an email automation. So what I'm going to do in the process, I'm just going to go here and click on campaigns and open it up in a new tab. 
And for this, let's click on create. Let's say this is like viral social. I'm just gonna put that in the description as well. And let's click on it right here. Let's create our campaign. All right, so this is gonna be an email where they just simply say like, hey, thank you for purchasing. Here is where you can get your download from name, email, you know, simple stuff. Let's click on save. And here is, you know, thank you for purchasing. Click here to access your purchase, okay? And this is gonna to go to your thank you page or it can just simply go straight to a PDF if that's what you're gonna be sending them to, right? So www.theirdownloadpage.com, all right, whatever it's gonna be, right? We can always come back and change that if needed. I'm not gonna go ahead and do the full email for you, just kind of giving you the idea that's what this is gonna be all about. Let's click on save and publish. And we, this is gonna be perfect right here because we don't wanna send this like five days later. We want them getting it immediately. So let's click on activate. And perfect. What we now wanna do is go back to funnels and I'm gonna go to that digital product funnel that we created. Now what we wanna do is on the order form, go to automation rules. So there's a few things that we can do. Let's go to add rule here. So occurs when a customer makes a purchase, we can do new sale. And then what we wanna do is click on this right here. We can do add action. And what we wanna do is add a tag. If you want, you can do a tag. I think that's gonna be a good thing. So we can create a new one. We can call it customer. Save rule. Perfect, and once again, we can click on new sale. You'll notice how we get a tag. And also here's gonna be the most important one. We can do add action. And what we wanna do is subscribe to campaign. Now let's go right here and we can go to viral social. So what that means is that when they make a purchase, not only are they gonna be tagged as a customer, they're also gonna be added to the follow-up campaign where they can download what they got, right? Or what they purchased, right? So let's click on save rule. All right, and so there's one more thing that I wanna show you here, maybe two things, right? Is last is just gonna be the thank you page, you know, any of these that we can utilize, thank you for your purchase. Let me pick one that's just very simple, something like this, I'm gonna go with select. All right, let's call it thank you and edit page. So there's gonna be two ways that they can obviously download what they get. So for example, uh, let's see, open URL. We wanna change this so we could do, click here to download the viral social PDF. Okay, and we can obviously link to that right here. So what we'd wanna do is open URL and this is gonna be it, say like www. Maybe you like put it in Dropbox or something and this would be the file, okay, whatever that is, and we wanna do in a new window, okay? So that's gonna be how they can actually go about downloading that, and like I said, I'm not gonna to worry too much about the aesthetics. You can put a video here like thanking them. Obviously, if you wanted to change this around, just simply change the text. All right, let's save, and let's go back. All right, so ideally what's gonna happen here, someone is gonna go to your order form, obviously. They're gonna add their credit card information in. They're gonna make a purchase. What's gonna happen in the background, they're gonna get tagged as a customer. And in the background as well, they're also gonna be sent that email campaign, which is gonna have the download access for them. And aside from that, they're also gonna be taken to the thank you page. So it's gonna direct them there. And we can have a view at this as well, where they can say thank you. Obviously, this is all just something you would edit it to your liking. This is gonna be the Dropbox file name. So if you uploaded a PDF, you can do that. You can always have a video here if needed of you. And obviously that's gonna be up to you and your branding, how you wanna change that around. And I will talk about if you wanna add the sales letter, let's go to add step here, just one more thing. Let's call it the sales letter. There are gonna be types for this specifically. So if you scroll down, we have a sales page. What we wanna do is drag it up to the top. Okay, so there's Probably one important thing here that I wanna just showcase here. For example, let me just find one that is very simple and straightforward. Let me look for it. Okay, this one right here, make your life easy with our product. I'm just gonna click on select. And what I wanna do is edit page. And the biggest thing you have to know is obviously when you change all of this around, you can do like get started. What you wanna do here is already changed, which is good. It goes to next step URL. So when they click on this, that means they're going to get taken to the checkout page. What we can also do is when we click on it, we can change this. So like click here to add to cart. Okay, and let's do save changes. And let's go back. All right, so now we can actually view this from the beginning. Okay, so let's do view funnel. 
So ideally, this is going to be your sales letter. You know, everything you're going to want to change around, obviously the text, the branding, the name of it. You can always create sales letters too with like something like ChatGPT if you need help. You know, there's going to be plenty of other templates and tutorials for that. But once again, this is showcasing how the setup works. So let's say we have that here. Let's do click here to add the cart. We're getting taken to the order form. They add their email address, first and last name. They can pay, they can purchase. And after doing that, they're gonna get taken to the thank you page, which is right here. And in the process, they're gonna get the email where they're tagged as a customer now, and they have multiple ways of getting access to their purchase, which is always a good thing. So that is gonna be the tutorial when it comes to how to sell digital products on system.io. Don't forget about integrating with that payment processor in the beginning, whether it's Stripe or PayPal or both. And like I said, sometimes you just wanna log out and log in after doing that, just to make sure that system processes them so that you can go ahead and create your pricing in the order form section, which is going to be right down here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, but I hope you got some value out of this tutorial. Lastly, if you haven't gotten to test out System, I will leave the link in the description where you can check them out for free. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.